Judging by the number of cameras he's planted, he's planning to make a decision within a short period of time. Any normal person would slip under these circumstances, but it won't be that easy with me, L. This is the closest we get! <laughs> <laughs> I've set things up so that criminals will continue to die over the next three weeks. But El is aware by now that Kira can control the times of death of his victims. Therefore, to avoid suspicion, El needs to see that criminals whose names are being broadcast continue to die while I have no access to that information. Oh, the symptoms are starting! I'm gonna show you, El. With Ryuk's information and my preparations, I can continue to kill criminals whose names are broadcast on the news while masquerading as a typical high school student studying for his entrance exams. Just watch me, El. I'll solve equations with my right hand and write names with my left. I'll take a potato chip and eat it. Hello everyone, we are here to talk about um, a certain anime called Death Note. Um, it's about some guy that gets a random book that falls out of the air and mm -hmm. you can kill people. Whether he uses it for good or bad is uh, to be under discussion, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a pretty old show, but it's a, it's a classic. It's definitely a classic. If anyone's getting into watching anime you would definitely recommend the show right yeah it's definitely pretty good i think there's a lot of uh, pretty good 200 iq big brain place in this one <laughs> big brain place <laughs> okay just don't watch it in dub let's talk about the story of death note okay it's about this kid called uh light yagami yeah right yeah and, uh, you know, one day, he's in class, he sees a book fall from the sky, he picks it up, and it's like, if you write someone's name in it, they'll die. Pretty much. So, he tries it out, and he ends up killing a criminal, and then he's like, oh my god, this is so cool, I can finally, uh... Get rid of all the bad guys Get rid in of the all world. the bad guys, and then have a, like, clean world. Yeah, but, you know, he's... Now there's this new mass murder around, right? So yeah. So the new... The detective called L comes and he's like, hell no, bro, I, I ain't letting you do that. Yeah, he actually uh, kind of outplays him in the, in the, in the beginning of the show. <laughs> to be honest, L really, you know, just baits Lyra, or Akira. No, I almost said Lyra. <laughs> yeah, not, yeah, not, not, not the not clutch not jungler. That, that's clutch jungler, but Akira yeah. Kira. is what uh, Light Yagami's name is. His like, alias. Yeah, he, that's what he's known as to the right. whole world, as the mass murderer, Kira. So... <coughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I think this, the story is pretty good for like the first half until um, Kira finally kills L. Spoilers! Come on, dude. I mean, this whole anime <laughs> show is for spoilers, man. I'm, I'm just kidding, bro. Come on, dude. But yeah, definitely most metal part of the show is like the first half where Kira and L are fighting. Yeah. And they're just, like you said, trying to fucking big brain each other. Like, yeah. oh, hell no, nah, dude. You ain't gonna trick me. And it's like, no, I tricked you, dude. Yeah. yeah. But they're also like right next to each other at the same yeah, time. Like so, they're like friends, you know? Yeah, they're they're like best friends. Like, oh man, I, I really trust you. You're, you're my you're my bestest buddy. Dude, but before he died too, I was like, Kira, you're my or like you're my light, you're friend. my only friend, but then he just dies. Yeah, he's like, ha <laughs> Bitch, you're dead. You're dead. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. And then yeah, there's a second half with the uh, the new guy. Yeah, they the just bring in another block. another L and it's like eh. Like a mini L. Yeah. I mean, he eventually gets them, you know, like, <coughs> light dies, but, it, yeah, the second half is honestly a blur. <laughs> it's very, it's, very not memorable at all. Yeah, but overall, I, I rated the, the story, like, an 8 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. 8 out of 10? Yeah. I think it's, it's a pretty unique story. There hasn't been one like it since. 
At least not. Yeah, because if they did it since then, it, you know, they're ripping off Death Note. I'll give the story like a nine. For the first half, especially. Yeah, first it's, half. It's is... pretty uh, suspenseful. It's like yeah. a nice thriller. All right, moving on. I think the character development in Death Note is pretty good. Like he just starts just out characters. as like a like a light, for example. He just starts out as like a, a schoolboy, like a really smart kid, you know. But uh, over time, he <laughs> kind of uses his uh, his big brain to uh, big brain L. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, he definitely, he becomes, like, in the first episode, you wouldn't think of him as, like, this guy who, like, really wants to, like, control the world and shit. Yeah. And, um, he but then once he finds the Death Note, he's just like, holy shit, I'm free, I can do whatever I want, I want to kill as many people as possible. Yeah. It's, it's a bit crazy. When all the characters got, like, killed off, like, you kind of <laughs> fell for him, you know? Like, there's, like, the, the couple, the, the, oh, the Ray, wife? Ray Pember and the wife. Yeah. Ray Pember was like whatever, but the wife was like holy shit. Yeah. And then, what else? So it was like L, and then like everyone loves L at that point because of like how his character like progressed as the show went on. Mm -hmm. Then he just dies. So and then they kind of just like replace him too. So yeah, they, it's a feels they, bad. Yeah. That was a bad move. Yeah, I mean I'd uh, rate the characters a ten out of ten. I think they ten out of ten. They Whoa. Have some, Pretty good character development and just the characters in general are pretty interesting and unique. So, yeah, I would agree. I'd say, I mean, nine out of ten because you know second half, I didn't Fair. like the new L. Yeah, true. But yeah, I think L and, and Kira are really good characters. And then uh, there's I don't I didn't like Misa at all. Yeah, she's. I don't know about annoying. you, but she was just annoying. But overall, they. Pretty solid. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, All right. The animation for Death Note is okay. It's a bit of an old show, right? I, I mean, still, I still say the animation's like pretty good. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of like really like action-heavy yeah. scenes for the animation <clears throat> to be like bad because all of it's like, or most of it's like dialogue and like just walking around, and I don't think that's like very like animation dependent. But like, there's some badass scenes still. Yeah, yeah, like, like yeah, like all like there's a lot of cool scenes. I guess, I guess, uh, yeah, that's animation. <laughs> like when he first starts using, he's like, oh, oh man, I'm so, oh yeah, <laughs> in the like potato chips and stuff. Yeah, you know, actually, yeah, the, the animation is pretty good for how old it is too. Yeah, but you know, it's not it's not like a show that wants to show off its visuals. Just like mostly yeah, it's about mostly the, for the plot and the story. The plot, yeah, well, I guess those are the same thing, but yeah, the plot. And the story. And the, and the story. <laughs> and, you know, the plot, too. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say the animation is a you know, solid 8 out of 10. Hmm. This is a difficult... Difficult. Uh, I think... Yeah. You know, I, some I'd of the characters also look give weird. It an 8. I think it's pretty good for how old it is. Yeah. Yep. Romance? Alright, romance, yeah. Is this like a a good romantic show? You I know, I don't think there's it's not very even romantic. that many girls in the show. It's just like two dudes battling out. There's the Ray. Pember I mean, there's, there's some romance. There's like the the couple, yeah, the Ray Penber and the other girl. And then the Misa, right? And Misa is just like a one-sided like light. She's using her. It's not even romance. But Misa is like obsessed with light for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just one-sided. Like there's absolutely zero romance in the show yeah not a lot of romance but i do think the bonds between the characters get closer like like the police force and and l like at first they didn't trust each oh, other yeah, and but then, then as it went on they like grew like yeah they were like very skeptical of him he was like yeah is this guy for real like yeah there's some deep what if he's just friendship. like trolling us you know yeah definitely some some deep friendship bonding for sure in the show but uh not much romance yeah so... that's like a a zero yeah out of 10. Pro probably is honestly no, like... like a one I'd say like a one. <laughs> I mean, there's just some, but not not much at all. Zero out of ten. That's my. That's okay, my that's fine. Yep. yep. All right. What do you think, Juan? Is this one of the best shows of our generation, or what? I mean, it is. It is. 
It's an El Clasico. Top five. No, probably not. Not for me. <laughs> what? It's not? It's not for me, but it's definitely an El Clasico. You're more of a... Shonen dude? Yeah. Some power, some fighting. I would agree. But this is definitely... Some like, nice martial arts. You never find, like, any... Suspenseful thrillers. Yeah. In anime, at least. I mean, when so. I first watched it, I probably thought it was really good. But now it's just like, whatever. Alright, um... Thanks for watching our anime review on uh, Death Note. I think it's something a lot of people should watch if they're first getting into anime. Might not be it for everyone, but um, I think it's a good first start. So, yeah, check it out. Thank you. Fist bump. Fist bump? Fist bump. You gotta hold it. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Is this good? <laughs>